exact cartridge you ever hit with a cord. Actually took down that small gong. All right, welcome back to the Canadian Gun Vault. We're here at the Galt Sportsman's Club with a rifle that I've never actually fired before, but I've always been looking forward to it. The uh, K98 rifle. Uh, a fantastic World War II vintage German collectible. Uh, certainly a very accurate gun, uh, as we're seeing today. And uh, one that I've been you know, looking forward to for some time, and I finally got a chance to knock it off my bucket list. This gun was uh, the basis or the action of this gun was the basis for so many hunting rifles that we see today. The Mauser action is known to be terrifically strong. The, the guns were really well known for their reliability, of course, and uh, their accuracy. The 8mm Mauser cartridge that they used hits a little bit harder than the uh, 303 British uh, rounds that we're seeing out on the battlefield. It's uh, certainly a little less speedy than the 30-06 coming out of M1 Garands, but it really hits with some authority, as you can see today. It actually ripped down a gong. But we've enjoyed shooting it, and uh, definitely it's the kind of thing that you would want to add to your collection. If you haven't picked one of these up yet, folks, you're uh, missing out, and uh, definitely they're going fast. Uh, I used to see them a few years ago for about $400. They quickly rose to about six and then eight a couple of years back, and now you're pretty hard pressed to find them for less than a G note here in Canada. If you can get yourself one that's numbers matching, I'm told that you can even spend up to about $2,000, and this one happens to be an example of such from 1943 and she's a real beauty. Uh, for the people out there that are searching around for a new collectible, this is definitely something you'd want to add to the list. Uh, for the people out there that are worried about Russian capture, markings being scratched out and whatnot, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Uh, you know, mix and match parts is one thing, but if it's a Russian capture, that guarantees that it was pretty much there. So uh, definitely still worth looking into. i uh, got to thank the collector that brought this one out for us to uh, shoot today in a pinch. And uh, we've enjoyed it and uh, really glad to bring it to you guys. So we hope you've uh, liked this closer look at the K98 rifle. Don't forget to like and subscribe to us on YouTube and on Instagram. And as always, Canada, don't forget to shoot straight. Stay safe.